Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to split shapes and text. Shapes are pretty easy. Text, there's a few more things you gotta you gotta work on. But guys, let's hop in. There's five different ways we're gonna to cover today. I'm just gonna cover everything I know about how you can split up shapes uh, and objects here in Adobe Illustrator. Now I went ahead and typed out the word Adobe. Just use the type tool and select all your parameters over here on the right hand side and don't scroll on the uh, the font unless you wanna change the font to something you don't want. Let's try to get back to where we were, there we go. Okay guys, uh, so I've got a piece of text here. Now we're gonna save that for a second. First off, shapes and everything guys, there's a lot of different ways that you can split. So let's just create a rectangle out here. And then I'm going to create an ellipse out here. Let's just quickly run down and cover the different ways we can split these, all right? So first off, if I select my shape, here in this little panel where there's probably an eraser tool for you, there's two other tools called the scissors tool and the knife tool. Let's look at the knife tool. It's a really quick and easy way to do exactly what it says. Cut or knife right through your shape and that creates a split. So you could use the knife tool to quickly create these different splits through your shape. You do have to have your shape selected or shapes selected. I don't even know what the shortcut key is. There isn't one, cool. Now you can't even hold shift. So whatever you do is just drawing with your mouse or if you have a tablet or something, you can draw with that. But that is one way you can split out your shapes. There's one way. Now we looked at that and we also saw the scissors tool in here. So if we click and hold scissors tool, that's C. I do use this tool kind of often. The scissors tool can cut at different anchor points. So when you have a shape selected, we can roll over one of our anchor points here and we can click on it and then I can click on this other one. And now if I go back to my selection tool, shortcut key is V, one of these two arrows up here, we can move this circle out. Now, the reason this looks weird and it doesn't just look like we cut three quarters of a circle is because these paths aren't actually still combined. We actually split the path itself. When you use the scissors tool, you are cutting at that point. So those two points that you cut at, they do not match up still. They literally end right there. So what Adobe is doing or what Illustrator is doing is just trying to guess the distance between those two paths. Uh, you can just grab that pen tool, shortcut key is P, look for the little arrow where you can continue the path, click down here to the center and then click over here to close out that path. So that's how we could get a little Pac-Man uh, character here. Now, when it's not a circle and it's more of a you know, squared off geometric rectangle type of shape. C for the scissors tool, we can cut at these anchor points and this will actually work out a little bit better uh, than before. But that's another way to split. Uh, and actually it's not really so much that you would be splitting a lot of shapes this way and cutting through shapes. It's more so, so that you know you can break a path right there. So on any of those anchor points with the scissors tool, you can just, you just cut it up. You just break the path right there and you can do whatever you want with it at that point. Um, I do use that tool on occasion. All right, let's move on to what would be, I think, my favorite way to split, merge, and everything, different shapes, and that would be the shape builder tool. So we have this square and this circle. What if I wanted to drop those over each other and let me change the color just so you can see it. So I've dropped this circle over this square and I just want to cut out a little rounded piece of the bottom corner of this square. Well, I can select both of those shapes. I can hit Shift M or find the Shape Builder tool over here, two circles and an arrow. And notice how with those shapes selected, the Shape Builder tool recognizes all the places that they overlap or don't overlap. And really quick and easy, what I can do is just hold Option or Alt on a PC. That creates a minus arrow and I can click and drag through what I don't want and it's gonna cut it out. So we just split that, we just cut out that shape. Another thing that we can do if we move that back into place and get all this selected again is I can actually click on that piece. So if I clicked on it, what that's gonna do is actually just create that piece. It's not going to subtract it, it's going to split everything there so I have all the pieces. I didn't actually delete any pieces out. So that's another way that we can use a tool like the Shape Builder tool to split shapes. Now let me show you how you could merge those shapes really quick. And merged, mer wow, I can't say that, merged shapes, they cannot keep each other's separate colors. It's gonna become one shape. But if we go back to that Shape Builder tool, Shift M, shortcut key, 
we could click and drag through all of this and it's gonna merge it all together and sort of just give it the color that you ended on. So because I ended on a black shape, it's just gonna make everything the black color. So that's how you could merge shapes back together. But this is all about splitting and cutting shapes. So one more method, I think, I'll check my notes here after, but one more method is actually the Pathfinder tool. So in some cases, for instance, if I wanted to make this like a block of cheese with lots of little circle cutouts, I can make this circle a little smaller, holding shift, of course, and then I could just bring it around and duplicate and we're just gonna cut out all these little circle pieces, some of them running off the edge, uh, just to make this look like, I don't know, a little block of cheese, right? I'm gonna select everything. With the Shape Builder tool, this would just take a while to click through everything uh, individually. So what I can do is find my Pathfinder options. If you don't see them over here in your Properties panel, you can always go up to Window, down to Pathfinder. But we have some different options here and we also have some expanded options. Uh, look, I know the Pathfinder is just kind of like you click until you figure out the one that you want, and that is kind of the way that it goes, but, uh, there are a couple that make sense, like divide, for instance. So if we look at our shape modes, minus front actually is what it's called, and if we click minus front, it subtracts from that square shape everything that's on top of it. So now we've literally just in one click subtracted everything out of that square shape. There's some other modes here, and yeah, look, I'll be honest, sometimes I know them, and sometimes I haven't used them in months, and I have to kind of guess. But they say like merge, or add, or unite, or they say like divide, or minus front, so you kind of get the hang of it. You click through a couple, see if it does the effect you want it to do. And yeah, if we just were to change this to yellow, now we have a little block of cheese down here, I guess. All right, guys, that's enough about shapes. Uh, there is one more method we'll look at with uh, the pen tool, but let's go ahead and look at some text. I'm gonna delete, well, I'll just move this over here. So we got some text, says Adobe up here. Anytime you're working with text and you want to split it apart, you have to outline it or expand it, which means it's not going to be editable anymore unless you're creating like clipping masks and things like that. But that gets complicated for what we're trying to do. So if you're just trying to split up text, uh, let me walk you through how I would do that. First, we need to outline our text. Now, it's pretty easy in this updated version of Illustrator because in our properties panel, we do have some quick actions called create outlines. Up and type down to, uh, well, it's probably gonna be grayed out now, but create outlines is right there, and it's shift, command, or control, O. I recommend learning that one. That's one I definitely know. Uh, so just really quick, you can hit that shortcut key, shift, uh, command, or control, O, and it's gonna outline your text. Now, once you outline a piece of text, there's a bunch of letters, and they're all grouped together. So we can right-click on that and ungroup it. And then we have all the individual letters. And what it's done is it's created what's called a compound path, which is kind of like a group of shapes uh, that make up one shape for each of these letters, even when the letter doesn't look like it should be a group of shapes, like for instance, the E. But you need to know that because some things work and some things don't quite work as well. All right, so we have a bunch of compound paths, which has basically made our letters into shapes, which means yeah, we can go back to like the knife tool and select everything and we can just cut right through it. And so now I actually have Adobe sliced right through. And I mentioned the pin tool a second ago. So if you wanna be more intentional with your, your cuts, you can grab the pin tool, shortcut key is P, and I can just create some sort of path through our text here. And let me flip that so that we can actually see what that path is. There you go, we have a stroke going through the text. We can do a couple things with this. We can select it all and we can go to our Shape Builder tool, which sees the different, uh, different areas where it's split by the pen tool. We could click on one like we did before and now we have a little split A. But another thing that we could do if we wanted to split the entire word or a bunch of letters all together is grab that Pathfinder tool and I believe we're gonna need to find a different one here. Let's try divide. And now my path disappeared. However, look at this. We actually have that cut right through the text. And I think we are grouped together. So if we right click, we can ungroup it and then we can just pull this apart exactly where that path went through our text. So that's another way that you can do it. And you can do sort of what the knife tool does 
with the pen tool here so you can be more intentional about the curves and the actual spots that you want to cut out, especially when it comes to letters. I'm sure there's certain areas you want to trim them out and certain areas you don't. Now let's talk about the uh, other options here. So I'm going to take the B down here. Now if I wanted to create the B made out of cheese like we did before, we got to grab this circle ellipse tool and make a little circle out here just like that. And I'm gonna change the color so we can see it on top of our B. We'll make this circle a little bit smaller and we can drag him over and do kind of like what we did uh, with the square a second ago. We can just drag this guy around just like so. Now what we can do is grab everything, go to our Pathfinder options just like before, hit divide, it's gonna cut that out. Now what I wanted to show you is that this is a compound path. So these already cut out spots in the B are actually shapes inside of here that can be moved around as well. So if we double click into it and now we're inside the compound path, we can actually move around some of these different areas and different shapes, specifically the ones that are completely enclosed inside of the B itself. So that's kind of an interesting thing. And when you get into using things like uh, if you're grabbing the knife tool just to create a slice through this, it could get weird if you double click in here. If you're moving things around like this, certain things will come with it and certain things won't, right? So the, the bottom part of the B now is like split black and white and one of the circle shapes, same thing. That's where with the compound path, you kind of have to be careful what you're doing when you're trimming out some things in there, uh, just because there are some weird tendencies to the stuff that's inside of the shape because it's shapes inside of shapes. It's hard to explain. But when you're working with just shapes, it's super easy because you don't have that issue. When you're taking font or text and you're converting it, you're converting it basically to a compound path, because text like the A, the D, the O, the B, they all have cut out shapes inside of the shape. That's pretty much it for splitting shapes and text here in Adobe Illustrator. Lots of different tools and techniques that you can use. I hope that any of this was valuable to you or at least taught you one new thing in this tutorial. I know it wasn't super expansive, especially on the, the, the font side, the text side, but everything still applies. I did just want to make note of those compound shapes because they get a little funky when you start working with them. All right, guys, I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Illustrator tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.